employees who walk home, have cash in their pockets. We're putting them in a dangerous situation to walk to their cars. We can't let our t uh, staff take their trash out at night. Durham businesses are asking the city for help, saying their employees and customers don't feel safe downtown right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lena Tillette. And I'm Chris Lovingood. This is a story we first told you about at 11 last night. These businesses emphasize it's not an issue with all homeless people. Their problems are with a group of roughly 10 people who have been aggressively panhandling. New at 530, WRAL's Monica Casey asked the city what they're doing to solve this problem. City leaders say they're trying to strike a delicate balance of helping those who need it, but ensuring everyone feels safe downtown. Downtown business owners are concerned about a small group of aggressive panhandlers. Every time these things happen, I never see those customers again. This issue is rapidly getting out of control. City councilors are aware of the problems. We're experiencing things such as assault, you know, uh, intimidation. Um, crime. Counselor Leonardo Williams is a small business owner himself. This is a mental health crisis amongst a small group of folks. It is a growing number of folks and uh, what we want to do is get them help. You know, the, the harsh reality is if we don't act now, it will increasingly get worse because Durham is growing. He tells me the city is working on a task force with the county and the district attorney's office. I know government moves slow. But we're moving really fast on this. Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton also emphasizes the need to involve multiple groups. We're going to be working with our business owners to come up with ways uh, that run the gamut, not just heavy law enforcement involvement. Middleton says they'll be studying other successful areas. Uh, we're going to look at best practices from other business improvement districts around the country. WRAL reached out to the Durham District Attorney's Office. It's aware of issues as well. In a statement, the DA's office wrote, quote, We are working with city and law enforcement partners to best address this complex situation. Due to pending criminal charges in this matter, we will decline to comment further at this time. That was Monica Casey reporting, and as she said, part of this issue surrounds mental health. Right now on WRAL.com, you can search Get Help to find a full guide of mental health resources in the area.